Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Synthmaster 2 and how to use it as an AUV3 effect. So this is very handy because Synthmaster 2 has tons and tons of effects op effect options that you can use. So I have this very basic sound uh, from Synthmaster 1. It's just an initialized preset that's been changed to a square with a tiny bit of release added in the ADSR. Okay, so this works by receiving MIDI. I'm going to show you how to set this up in a sec. Okay, so at the moment, you'll see, if we open ZOA, MIDI outputs is connected to Synthmaster 1 and Synthmaster 2 in the effect slot. And this is how it works. But I'll show you, there's a, another step you have to do, but I'll give you an idea of how it sounds before I show you how to set it up. So open Synthmaster 2. And you'll see that I am in effects bus 1. So you've got your kind of synth kind of thing. You'll see that's just on audio in. I'll show you that in a sec. We've got our effects. And this shows us our effects bus one and layer one and layer one and two effects as well. So effects bus one, I have a reverb, an ensemble, a delay a compressor and a distortion. And in effects bus two, I have a phaser, tremolo, filter bank, a lo-fi and a reverb. Okay, so I have two reverbs. So I'm using 10 effects in total. I've got them here, you can see. So if we press play, This is the main output of the dry signal. And effects bus one and effects bus two. These are the wet signals. So this is effects bus two now. And if you want to blend some of the dry signal in, you can. Now, like I said, Synthmaster's effects are very powerful and very, very, very good. If you long hold on any slot, now you can also use insert layer one effects and layer two effects and do exactly the same blending technique here. If you long hold on any of these, you'll see you get distortion, lo-fi ensemble, phaser, equalizer, vocoder, a delay, chorus tremolo, uh, reverb, a compressor, and a filter bank. Okay, so very nice. In, in fact, the filter bank is really good. If we go to FX2 here, here's our filter bank, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six filters you can engage, uh, all six of them if you want to. If we open them up, you've got... Uh, Low pass 12, low pass 24, low pass 36, low pass 48, uh, band pass 12 and 24, high pass 12 and 24 to choose from. And you can mix and match between all those filters in the filter bank. Very powerful. You have EQs, et cetera, et cetera, reverbs. And you can mix and match the effects in either or of the effects buses. Okay, so you see I've got effects bus one, a reverb there, effects bus two, a reverb there. Right, let us set this up. So I'll close this. And I'll get rid of that. And if we play Zoe now, it will just play this. Let's add in our audio units extension and we'll go Synthmaster 2 in the effects slot. And if we play now, we won't hear anything at all because Synthmaster 2 needs to receive MIDI for it to work as an effect. So I am going to go Zoe and just Zoe all, and it should be the same as going and engaging them both here so let me just turn this down and you'll still hear well what you'll hear now is zoa playing synth master 2 you won't hear synth master 1 although synth master 1 has been triggered so we open synth master so all we need to do is hit init preset go audio in on the oscillator type like this And now we've got audio pass through from Synthmaster 1 to Synthmaster 2. Open Synthmaster 2. Go to Effects here. Close that. Go to Effects Bus 1. 
Let's turn that down a little bit. So effects bus one, open this and put a reverb in and bring up the level to suit. And then we can add another one. We can make up the level. And so on and so forth until we've filled up our effects. And that, guys, is that. That's how you do it. So you just make sure that Synthmaster 2 in the effects slot is receiving MIDI and you are good to go. Uh, yeah, so that's it. And then you can add some into the effects bus 2, of course, which is here at layer 1 and layer 2 if you want to as well. So very powerful, loads and loads of cool stuff. Uh, yeah, so that is how you use Synthmaster 2 in the effects slot uh, for AUV3 effects for anything you like. Top job, cool beans. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a Patreon. Um, and uh, yeah, or making a super thanks or whatever. Thank you very, very much indeed. I will see you later. Ta-da.